How's it going everyone? Mitchell with another Logic Pro 10 tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about MIDI quantization. If you're looking for audio quantization, I just made a tutorial on that, so check that out. If not, you are in luck because MIDI quantization is even easier. So diving right in, I'm going to select this grand piano. And as you can see, some of these MIDI notes aren't exactly on the downbeat that I want them to be. So quantization to the rescue. So first things first, I'm going to select the MIDI that I want to quantize. Next, I want to make sure the local inspector is shown. If it's not, go to View, Show Local Inspector, which will bring up the side pane. Uh, and then we want to select our, our, our beat. And for me, a uh, whole note is just fine, uh, since it's the downbeat that I want on to quantize to in, in this instance. Uh, for you, it could be anything like 1 8th, 1 16th. It could just, you know, it, it just depends on your situation. Uh, so I'm going to select that and you can see that it snaps to the downbeat. The general idea here is that the faster you have MIDI playing, the shorter your beat interval should be. And so that means that if you have really, really fast MIDI, say on a piano or something, you might have to you might have to increase this to 1 32nd, 1 16th, depends on your situation. Uh, so if you mess anything up, always do Command Z and just try it over again. Really, really simple. So if you have any more questions, let me know in the comments below. Else, you know, have a great day, everyone. I'll be seeing you very soon. Peace.